keep your bands off of things that we have already agree come to a, an agreement on. We already, girl, we did already finish this one. Like it was in the bag. What are y'all doing? It was in the bag. Let's try for something greater. Let's really put those brains, those brains together and come up with something innovative. Girl, I'm in a costume wig. <laughs> Um, it is given women's rights and today I'm going to be a part of the March for, for Planned Parenthood. Um, they are having a bands off here in DC. Um, you have been living under a rock if you are not familiar that, um, Roe versus Wade, uh, a draft to overturn it was submitted by one of the Supreme Justices. So this legislation has um, been drafted, remove the right for a woman to terminate her pregnancy, be it health reasons, be it economic reasons, be any reason of her giving. Um, and essentially it will send that right uh, or, or the right to do so back to the state. So your state will then regulate if contraception can be appropriate, um, if a woman can abort uh, her pregnancy, if she was raped, if she is um, pregnant, a woman who may become pregnant in her fallopian tubes, that could potentially kill, will definitely kill the, per the mother and the child. And a person wouldn't essentially be able to have a abortion even with that so both person dies um and and giving not giving a person a right to do so just is a very slippery slope and it could potentially uh dwindle into other areas that they have uh, um affirmed other laws around so the law that they are affirming this to is amendment 14 which is around about listen i'm not an attorney i do not st study politics but um i did you know a lot of my internships in political things in undergrad and i will never um pretend to be some guru about politics what i am a guru about is my own fucking body and what i would like to have the option to do and other women alike um, is to have them have the right to make a decision about it. Um, many people who are going to be impacted by this are people who are economically, um, excuse me, disfranchised and that also just lack the resources to travel to a different state um, to have an abortion because essentially that's what they'll have to do. I'm going, my daughter and I are going to go head down and be a part of the support for women to just have the right to choose and make decisions on their own future. I was so livid when I just heard about this information that I immediately did a blog post that just kind of talked about like for people to just mind their damn business like at the end of the day whatever spectrum you guys stand on this and we all you know have our reasonings why we support it or don't support it but I do think that it is a person's right to make their own health care decisions for whatever reasons they're making it. And it is their position and, um, you know, life that they have to repent or to ask for forgiveness or whatever it is that makes them feel whole. I think the challenge become when the state is trying to regulate a person and that is not something we ever want um because if it's we're starting there then what um i won't go into all the other on this platform and i don't want to offend anyone because everyone should have the right to make decisions and to have beliefs and uh, values that align to their own um path in their life and not have someone to regulate that be a good better indifferent 
it is that person's choice and the moment we start to remove that choice from a person then we are in a very dangerous place and that could bring um more regulation around groups of people when it it relates to um race uh, when it relates just to whole groups of people in general and that is not something that I am gonna ever feel comfortable with um, and I am gonna vote in that manner um, so that we are simply not um, p making regulations to control someone because I'm before not. we start to overturn or attempt to overturn some legislation that at least 80% of citizens are um, Americans are for Let's start with so many things, particularly uh, universal child care. Yeah, like if a, at any salary, let's start there because at any salary, because child care is expensive. I don't care if you're making six figures or I don't care if you're making $35,000. If you are attempting to pay for child care, then a great deal of your means is going to that just so you can get to, to work so that you can pay rent to have a shelter over you and your child's head. Like there's so many things that we can focus on versus trying to uproot old um, laws that people were for and that people fought so very hard for to then, you know, waste time. Cause that's essentially what this is, a waste of time to waste time to then actually try to undo or overturn other re legislation. How about stronger um, regulation for fleeing fathers? Yeah, girl, it's uh, child support, but what are they doing to ensure that the person who has a, has made the child with the parent, with the mother is doing their due diligence to care for them? I'll wait. Okay, child support. We know how that goes. If they don't pay, then they don't pay. The mother still has to figure it out. The mother still has to be the parent. The mother still has to figure out how they navigate the world, their professional careers, their, um, you know, in, in, enriching their children, all those things by themselves. Or how about just having the necessary supports you need to clothe, feed, and all those things. Guys, go out and support things that you feel strongly about um, because ultimately we are the people who make the difference in our world and you have to be the change you want to see, you guys. Get behind a great cause that will make a difference. Not let's go back all the way into the 70s where people have to make decisions about their health um, that could be very dangerous for the fetus as well as the mother. So um, I don't know, you guys. I know we can all be all over this topic and every end of it because there is a part of me also as a Christian is that we don't, like you don't want to um, have, you think if God has given you the will for it, then it is God's will. And I don't disagree with that either. I just disagree with the fact that it is a, a person's decision outside of the person that has to make the decision um, right to, to regulate that for them. This journey is their own. And if they are to make that decision, they should not have to be faced with other barriers that um, impede them from making the best decision for them right because we also know that it is god's will and that he knows all things right so he knows the decisions we're going to make maybe that is an opportunity to bring someone closer to him you never know and i think in that aspect just mind our damn businesses let us make decisions based on our own and then find something else to regulate yeah because a woman's body and choice is not that thing um with the utmost respect because I do recognize that there's two people who make a child 
and that decision should certainly be between those two people but ultimately the one who has to carry it so um until then you guys hopefully i can get some footage of us at the march um until then see you soon peace